Okay, the huge announcement from Elementor team. They said the newest version 3.22 contains very big improvement for speed improvement on the website. They launched this new feature, Element Caching, which they claim can increase the TTFB total time to first byte up to 70%. And it seems like a great feature and millions of websites who use Elementor can be benefit from this feature. And guys, I think it was very much welcome and required feature for many years now because Elementor is a really amazing plugin. I love it. It's really easy to make a website with Elementor. But sometimes it's a little bit slower and more heavy than other page builders. Okay, without any delay, let's do one thing. Let's test this feature. How much these claims are true and what is this element feature and how you can implement this element caching on your website. Okay, so what I did first thing, I disabled all the speed caching plugin on my website and I test my website through Google Page Speed Inside. You can see it's scoring 39 for mobile devices and then 93 for desktop devices. And just to test, you can see here. FCP is 3.5 seconds, LCP is 11 seconds, total blocking time is 1200 ms, speed index 6.2, CLS is 0. And here the scores with GD matrix, performance grade is E, 38%, structure 88%, LCP 3.6, TBD 730 ms. And you can see here speed visualization of my website. And also I test my website with tools.pingnum.com. You can see performance grade 66, page size 1.6 MB. Load time 5.84 seconds and request 121. So log into website backend, go to Elementor and then go to settings and then click on features. And when you scroll the page here, after lazy load, you will find this option element caching. You could see we do not have this feature here. In case you cannot see this option because you are using the old version of Elementor. So what you can do, go to install plugins and search for Elementor. You can see here I am using the old version 3.21 and this new feature of element caching for speed improvement is available in 3.22. So what I will do is just click on update now and like I always tell you before making any big changes on the website always take a backup if you want to know how to take a backup of your website in most easy way check the description of this video. Okay so plugins upgraded we'll go back to settings you could see we do not have this feature here but if I refresh the page okay we have this new feature here element caching you can see this is by default here so what we need to do is we need to click on active so I change it to active and then click on save changes. Okay, so I realized the scores. So on the left side, these are the old scores and on the right side, there are new scores after enabling the element caching feature. You can see the overall scores improved a lot. Before it was 39, now they are 52. And you can see here, as the Elementor team said, the blocking time gonna be changing. So you can see it was 1200 millisecond before and now it's only 560 milliseconds. So it is almost improved to 50, 60%. And that's really nice, I really welcome this feature from Elementor team because a lot of people are complaining about this thing that Elementor website are slow and this is really nice feature and I want to say kudos to Elementor team this feature works really nicely and let's see what desktop so it was 93 before and now it's 95 okay nice okay let me do one thing let me try to refresh the GT matrix scores so these were the old scores let me click on retest to get the new scores for GT matrix wow seems so nice you can see the huge improvement in GT matrix scores it was 38 for performance and grade was E and now grade is B and performance is 84% structure 90%. LCP is decreased from 3.6 seconds to 1.8 seconds and TBD from 738 milliseconds to 129 seconds which is a huge improvement guys. I'm really shocked seeing these results just by enabling one feature we could improve website speed a lot. Okay let's test the tools.pingdom report once more. Okay in the new report the grade is still same 66 to 67 pace size same. Only the loading time is much better now. Before it was loading 5.84 seconds, now 1.83 seconds. And this is a big win guys. And right now the website is scoring such good score when I'm not using any cache plugin in the website. Like Lightspeed Cache, Double Fastest Cache, Double Rocket. I'm not using any optimization plugin in the website. It is only Elementor on the website which is doing all these performance enhancements. Okay, the final word. So does this feature works? Yes, it works. Should you use these features? I should say yes, you should try using this feature. Take the back of website and please use this feature. Looks real nice to me. Let me know how much code it improved on your website, how much total blocking time or time to first byte improve on your website. Leave all the details in the comments and let's see how much your website improved. And guys, like always, if you find any value in this video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and please share this video with friends, family or colleagues to let them know what is the new feature in Element 3.22.